Hell nah, I ain't sleep today, but I'ma be okay. Miss my family on the east, but fuck it, I can't leave LA. Every meeting that I be in, trust me, I just lead the way. I fuck three times. Hello, everybody, and welcome on Book Cover. Yeah, I'm a host. It's been a while since I've been in the kitchen. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> but, we're back in the kitchen. Actually, we're in our new kitchen. Um, I moved upstairs from downstairs. I do apologize about being away for so long, but yeah, it's a thing. So, it being after Thanksgiving, I figured, you know, this is probably the best time to start getting back to cooking. So, what am I going to do today? Well, today I'm going to be cooking something rather different. Because, as you know, what the hell are you going to do with the turkey? There's always going to be so much turkey left over. Big family. I'm going to buy two turkeys. <laughs> Got a lot of extra turkey left over. Got a small family. i buy one turkey. Going to have a lot of turkey left over. Usually if there's a lot of leftover turkey and it's hard to figure out what the heck you're going to do with it. So, what I'm going to do with it, yes, I just stabbed myself with a knife blade. It's fine. I do it all the time. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be dressing up this turkey. I'm going to be putting it in, I'm going to be, you know, putting some seasonings on it. But I'm going to be putting it in a tortilla. You'll find out later. All right. Let's. We're going to dress them. <laughs> we stuff our turkeys here. See? It's cold, by the way, so it might not cut the best. Don't really want it to. If anything, you might actually want to turn it on the side there so you can see the way it goes. <laughs> Cut. Thank you. <laughs> knives are important. Make sure to keep your knives good. y'all cook your turkey, but I like to slow cook mine. It just makes it better, in my opinion. <clears throat> and yes, I know I cut slow. There's a reason I cut slow. I don't want to cut my fingers. <laughs> Also, I have my pinky mug here as well. Got a little coffee. Cop, 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 cop. Okay, now those are over there. Set those to the side. Now you're going to need a plate and tortillas. Get away with you. Don't worry, I'll pick that up later. Now, I don't know about y'all. There's a lot of things. I know a lot of different ways to cook these things up. Like, cook tortillas up. They're amazing everywhere. So, oh, I almost forgot. You know, want some seasonings and some cheese. Now, first thing you're going to want to do, yeah, I use this cheese by the way. <laughs> Put down a layer of cheese, you know, nice, nice little layer of cheese. Good cheese, always the best. And you can use, uh, you can use, you know, American slices if you wanted, but shredded cheese, in my opinion, is always the best. Some people say, oh yeah, you got to use, uh, you know, fresh shredded and whatever. Then... You put on some turkey. Now, because you want a little bit of meat in the dang thing. I believe it's called a quesadilla. Some people call it a quesadilla. Alright. A little bit more turkey. Alright. Now, you'll want some seasoning. Put your own favorite seasons on, you know. I put garlic, onions, 
the red peppers and good old Mrs. Dash. A little bit of spice, you know. Turkey is so darn bland. No matter what you do, turkey is so darn bland. Because it's basically steaming it, which means the, uh, because, yeah, these are dried minced onion. It'll actually be not crunchy. And then, now this is a secret family recipe. No salt, table blend, Mrs. Dash. Best on anything you're cooking. Don't need a lot of it either. Just a little sprinkling. Then, over top of this. A little bit more shredded cheese. You, you want to cover the uh, turkey with the cheese. You want. Don't worry, it's going to turn out real good. Mm. Now, make sure to cover the turkey. Now, I do understand a lot of people about to be pissed off what I'm about to say, but you know, the reason I say it. Because I can, because it works. Put down just a little bit, you know, make it a little bit flat. Well, not like what I'm about to, about to say, but you know what I mean. Now, we take another tortilla, 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 whatever you want to call it. Put it over top. Just like that. Give it a little pat down. Here's your starter pretty good now you're gonna put this bad boy in the microwave I believe I'm gonna go for about yeah let's go about minute 50 see how that looks I'll be right back when it's done okay now we're back um, minute 30 was good I said minute 50 I do apologize about that a minute 30 was good enough now what you're gonna want to do hmm, let me. what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to take this, you're going to want to cut it into little bitty triangles like this, you know. Don't worry, don't worry, you're not going to hurt your knife, it's, you know, it's a knife, this is just a tortilla. Might hurt your plate a little bit. You gotta let it cool. You gotta let it cool down a bit. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna get another plate. Cause I have another thing in my uh, refrigerator that's rather interesting. Don't worry, I'll use that later. Got more cheese. Fully cooked bacon. This stuff's actually really good, surprisingly. Especially for those people that like bacon, they don't really have time. These are fully cooked strips of bacon. Now you probably already know what I'm gonna do with them. So let's just do it. why I grabbed the other bag. Okay. Okay. You don't want it there. Alright, let's start from the other side. There we go. That's not good. You want just a little bit of cheese there. And yes, I know how weird it sounds. We're gonna eat pre-cooked bacon? Hell oh, yeah. I mean, it's not the crispiest stuff in the world. And it's fully cooked though, so you can just pull out and eat it. Which is good. Hmm. 
I've seen a lot of stores actually have this. It's a really good thing to, you know, like if you're in a hurry but you need bacon for a meal or want bacon on a meal. It's really good to have it for. Now, what you can do now, because we already have one that has just turkey on it, add a little bit of turkey onto this. Because again, we're trying to get rid of our excess turkey from Thanksgiving. And as you know, bacon makes everything better. Even turkey, hopefully. <laughs> Now you want to flavor it again. I know the bacon's going to make it flavorful, but again, I like a little bit of heat. And a little bit of no salt table blend right on top. Like just like that. Just like we did before. Or, you know, do a different set of seasons. Whatever y'all want to do, do. This is basically a way to make a tortilla into anything you want. Also, I'm one of them weird people that literally will fold up a tortilla and eat it. Just straight up eat the tortilla. So, I'm fine with this. Well, you know what we do next. Tortilla on top. A bit of a presentation like that. So I need a little bit of sip from Pinkie Pie. Not PewDiePie, Pinkie Pie. PewDiePie, dear Lord. <laughs> Alright, so put this in for another 130, and I'll be right back to show you what that looks like too. And we're back again. So, same as we did before, cut it into triangles. And for some reason, this pop tortilla is a lot smaller than that little bottom one. Eh, go figure. Yeah. You're going to want to cut it into a nice little triangles. Now, some people wonder, but why do you eat such weird things? <laughs> well, to answer your question is because the weirder the shit that you eat, the happier you'll be. Mmm, fucking delicious. Now, I blah, 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 words. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video. This is really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, please, I beg of you, do not forget to smile and eat anything that looks good. Peace. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell. But I won't back down